Today we're gonna be reusing, repurposing some old keychains that <laughs> were just with my keys hanging out all by themselves because whatever came with them fell up somewhere in the middle of nowhere land. Nowhere to be found. And now all I have is the actual metal pieces and we're also going to be reusing some of our belt scraps from other projects that I've done. Today's gonna be all about reusing and really making something cute for us to carry around with our keys. So let's get into it. I like this keychain the best to do my project in. So after we've selected the keychain, really just take a look and see what works best for you on the style that you wanna do. I organized my felt scraps into piles of what I thought could look well together when I match them up. You can always pair them up based on styles, not necessary colors. Like this pile here, it's all green, but this pile is pink, some purples and reds, and this one is just that. It has the same sort of vibe, style, very bright and happy. You can use a pencil if you'd like, but I feel fine using a pen since we're gonna be cutting all around the edges. And for the center, I'm just going to cut out a little piece from the white and since i like everything to be catified you can always just do a regular circle but i'm just going to do a little cut head Since I have this felt piece that has little heart shapes on it, I'm going to leverage that to cut and follow the shape. And then from this very defective little scrap, what I'm going to do is cut it in half and try to make some butterfly wings out of it. Ash it up as best as possible and And for the center, I have this scrap. So I'm just gonna make the tummy out of it. And now I have my basic shapes. And then using another solid color, place the shapes on top of it. Then add pins to each of your shapes. If you have a shape that has multiple pieces, like I did my butterfly, be sure that your pin grabs all of them. This way you'll be able to cut without any reservations about the piece moving and maybe the backing of it being too small the main part is to only cut the outside shape don't cut the little details on the inside otherwise it's not going to be very effective at being supportive to the smaller pieces that you have at the front so to know how much i'll need to cut off i'm going to put my keyring and then place more or less where i would like my things to go then I'm gonna cut the ribbon, folding it twice, plus about an inch. I'm going to grab my string and start cutting all of these little loops that are on it as decoration. You can leave them, but I'm, I don't like them, so I'm gonna start cutting them all off so it'll be a more elegant look. Once the piece has been cut, then you wanna put it with the pin down the middle where you're going to be putting it underneath. And basically start planning out from the base where it's going to be. So since the ribbon breaks so easily, I'm putting it about midway through. After, we're gonna start sewing the small pieces to each other, like I had with the wings and the body. Once all the pieces, the extra pieces are sewn to each other, then we can attach it to the back piece that we cut in black i'm just going to make some stitches from the backing to the back again since my is black on black then i don't have to worry too much about the stitches themselves if you are making another shape in the back or a different color, it doesn't match 100%, then you'll want to do a side stitch shape instead, which would be holding the ribbon mm -hmm. and then only doing like half of the fabric from side to side. So again, 
almost like slide the needle through the side of the fabric and then push it through. So we're just going to start connecting. So from here, and just an extra stitch to the blue, the purple, and then one through the ribbon. Because now we want to start integrating that ribbon into our stitches so it's nice and secure. The ribbon in place. Then after we can start making the stitches from the black to the purple. When I got to the bottom of the shape, then I opened it up so I could get the ribbon again. And do a few more stitches from the felt to the ribbon just to make sure that it was nice and tight. Once I was happy with it, I closed it back up and continued with my shape. When getting close again to the ribbon, I'm going to stitch through it one more time. Once I'm on the other side, I'm going to just do one more stitch side to side and not so now that all of the shapes have a, have been attached to the backing i'm going to cut all of the ribbons to be the same exact size so at this point if you just wanted to keep it simple you could just grab your key ring grab your other piece and make a knot obviously cutting off the excess or you can also create a little piece to sew them all onto, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab another scrap of felt and start sewing my pieces together, one on top of the other. All secured, then you can cut off all of the excess ribbon and start sewing the felted piece side to side with the ribbon so it's nice and secure. Afterwards, then you can flip it around for to see more or less how thick you want the opening to be this is the part that's going to go inside of your key ring so try not to make it too small so it doesn't get stuck as you're trying to add it in so it's better to cut extra and then be able to get rid of it that then need to redo everything again so i have enough to be able to fold it over so it goes in smoothly covers up all of the ribbon so on the inside, I'm just going to sew from side to side in to the outside. Just attaching my piece of felt to the other. Now that this section is done, I can add it to my key ring. Just slide it through. And all done.